Marie Gallishaw says she's lost more than just her job during the pandemic. My freedom and my freedom of choice. She's behind $1,300 on her rent. The Biden administration eviction moratorium extension through the end of July means she's getting another grace period to pay her landlord. But she says it's harder than you think. We just getting back to work. So getting back to work don't means that we is going to pay this money all back overnight. We didn't get here overnight. She's not alone. According to the U.S. Census, some 7 million tenants nationwide are currently behind on their rent. And according to the Atlanta Regional Commission, more than 70,000 evictions have been filed in five metro Atlanta counties from April 2020 to this past May. But there's layers to the hardships families face. One of the layers is the competitive housing market in Atlanta and gentrification. Anwar Hogan says the apartment complex his family called home was recently scheduled to be demolished and they received an immediate notice. Everybody was forced out of nowhere to come home one day and there's a paper on your door that's telling you you got to go. His family found new housing but is still impacted by the pandemic in many ways. Everybody has been through a hard time. We got people that lost jobs because of COVID. Marie Galishaw fears for what will happen to families after July 31st. It's a lot of us will be homeless. It's a lot of us will be put outside. If a lot of us will be in a position that need help, that's not here. There are groups offering help. Just look in the As Seen on TV section of our 11 Alive app for contact information for an organization focused on helping tenants. We want.